going on, Legion? As you hit, like always, pardon the the, the throat. <clears throat> it's not like raspy, raspy, but like I feel like uh, like you have like a cut right here. Has anybody ever got that before? I don't know. It makes it kind of painful to talk right now. So I'm just gonna kind of try to keep this low, low key. Yeah. All right. So we got some um, Batman: The Tall Tale series. Now I've never specifically played a Tall Tale game. I've watched a lot of playthroughs. I've been involved in a lot of Twitch chats that have experienced it i've never played it but i've been on you know the wolf among us and uh tales of the borderland which is hilarious by the way if you don't want to play it and you want to just watch it check out you know that uh, uh how would you do that cutscene movie or playthrough would probably be the best way to do it uh playthrough it's a little shorter so cutscene movies maybe an hour to two hours long unless it's halo and it's all the halos then it's 10 hours plus but tall tale the game itself is anywhere from two to four hours so watching the entire playthrough is pretty funny. In fact, I would go check out Gold Glove TV on YouTube or on Twitch and go check out his playthroughs of any Tall Tale. They're all really good. He gets emotional in the the, the, the Walking Dead ones, and uh, you know he just uh, uh, he enjoys it. Uh, I've been a long time viewer of him. He's a great guy. Really, really just low key and well, not not low key, but <clears throat> I don't know. He's just he, he's a funny guy. So go check that out if you're into these Tall Tale games. And uh, uh, yeah, we'll just get into it. This is Batman's Tall Tale. This is kind of crazy. Everybody lost their effing minds when this came out. So with that being said, let's get into it. Check it out. See what it's all about. Let's hope it's good. I can't wait. I want to see what it's like. Headset, please. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. A little loud for me. Sorry. Step out of the shadows. Looks Could good. Tombstones be your family <laughs> legacy. Is that fucking Archer? What what the hell's going on here with that? <laughs> I know you're trying to create a myth. Just remember, there is room for Bruce and Batman inside that suit. Oh shit, dude! A lot more animation than I'm used to seeing in Tall Tale. Tall Tale. Tall Tale. Not Tall Tale. Wow, the dude. has burned with corruption and greed. Oh, with Bruce's yeah. help, a vote for Harvey Dent is a what vote up, to finally put your foot down. Vicki Vale, reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Oh, hey, is up, the Vicky? Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Money gets money. I <laughs> oh, I want to play this so bad. Or I can pull it out from under him. <laughs> your father you gonna see anybody else? men like Falcone. No one has ever managed to bring him Yeah, down. Falcone. There it is. I haven't tried yet. <laughs> yes. So no, this way. no crazy villains? Just gangsters right now? That's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I think this whole city's a crime scene. Ah, Catwoman. Okay, I was wrong. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Anarchy? Is that anarchy? Dude, it looks awesome. Time to save the city. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that bat slip. That thing's fucking epic. Holy shit, dude. 8216. Oh. Wow. That, that bat symbol looks so fucking cool. Oh my god. Alright, man. There's a lot to say about that. That's awesome. Um, Holy shit. There's a lot of animation and a lot of cutscenes or something of that look kind of like cutscenes that we haven't seen in a lot of um, Tall Tale. So, uh, yeah, man, I, I don't know. It's just, it's, it looks exciting. Like, Catwoman maybe, maybe there's some other criminals, but maybe it'll just stay with Catwoman, Falcone, that's really cool, or Falcone. Um, that's really cool to see. It's like they're starting, they're starting slow, right? <clears throat> like Batman Year One. That's going to be kind of interesting. I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of psyched to see how this plays out. I might actually get this one and play it. It looks like it's going to be really fun. Um, I did a reaction a while ago to the Killing Joke trailer. And then I just watched the Killing Joke, which if you don't know, it's a comic. One of the best written comics from DC. Considered to be a great story in general among just people. Um, the adaptation into an, a DC animated digital short. Or a digital short. A digital animated movie, I should say. Um, it felt like a short. It was 72 minutes long, but it didn't feel like it. And it was pretty terrible. I was not a fan of it at all. 
it felt maybe because it was just, if you're one of those people that read the killing joke beforehand and know how short it is or if even if it's short um and you just wanted to see it animated then you're gonna love it you're gonna awesome for me that has actually never had the opportunity to read the killing joke and kind of was expecting or hoping for something a lot longer it it's 72 minutes have never gone by so fast all the stuff that happened it was just huge chunks of information not like when, when everything's kind of divided up into individual like like fragments cuts into different scenes and stuff like that it, it's like it, it makes it feel like the there's more to it there's more um volume right but in this there's a lot of just this happened this happened and then, these things happened and then it was over and it felt like it went by so fast it felt like it was very close and and claustrophobic feeling i don't know was not a fan of it as an overall animated movie i liked it as the story it told but somebody that wanted to see like justice league war again or something it was not that so i liked it and hated it in uh, in some ways it's for everybody else that's a huge fan and just wanted to sit to once it you know you'll love it and as far as Telltale goes, or Telltale and Batman in this, I think this is probably going to be one of their best-selling uh, franchises. The Walking Dead, oh my god, they can go on forever with that. Now they have a Michonne series. Uh, the Wolf Among Us had like um, Bloody Mary in it, it had the, were the Big Bad Wolf, I think, which was the main character, and Tweedledee and Tweedledum, and all this crazy stuff. Batman can literally just go on forever. It is a money-making bonanza right now for that. And everything that's coming out for it, uh, with uh, Batman vs. Superman, Suicide Squad having Batman in it a little bit, The Killing Joke, and all the animated movies coming out that way, it's going to be insane, dude. Oh my god, it's going to be crazy. So, I'm going to get out of here. I don't want to ramble on too long. We got a... Uh, I did a Darian Espanto... I can't pronounce his last name. Reaction earlier that went on really long. So with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you like the video, you like the content, you want to give it a thumbs up, you want to subscribe or share, remember, it is completely up to you. I do appreciate it, though. If you're just here on your next reaction to somewhere else or some other content, I hope you find what you're looking for. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on whatever video I'm doing next. If you guys want to talk about Batman, DC, Suicide Squad, or anything else I've discussed on this channel in general, you can leave a comment down below. Love to see and love to hear all of you. And uh, yeah, later.